All right, I want to make a workflow which will be for a more like precise way of deciding what is the award that that a job belongs to and why. So let's call it what award is that. Uh, well, I'm going to call it something like award identifier. Uh, award advisor. Which award? How about that? Which award? applies. Okay, so we need a description that goes in here. So um, it needs to be something a bit more interesting than this, but like, look at the, you, you will be, um, the user needs to provide a job description and you will use that to decide what the applicable award is and any others that are related give a confidence score include links to the original award documents Maybe see if that works. Okay, so um, this is going to be job. Let's try this like job, um, job title, and job description, and we'll put it industry. We might not know those answers, but let's just try it. So, um, Okay, so actually we need to we'll change this prompt. A job title, job title, job description, and industry. So then the next bit of the flow is an LLM instruction. And so we're going to use that. That, oh, how do you? How do you put, do, can I put the variable name like that? Can I put, this is the job. Can I just put the variable name? So I can put job title. I don't know if this will work. Job description. Industry. Use this information to decide the applicable awards, okay, and result variable. Uh, okay, so I guess I could put like Award Award option one. I might give it three choices just to see what happens. Okay. Um so I guess we add another Instruction. Uh, so I'll explain to the user what the applicable 
awards are and provide more details about why which one is relevant. There could be one, two, or three possibles, but you must decide which is most likely. Um, so do I just put like these are the kind of the likely these are the awards we think are most relevant. Okay, so we're going to put award option dash one. We'll just copy that for the next two. Okay. Okay. Uh, give lots of detail and reason. Okay. Um, all right. Let's save that. Now, um, I have got to remember how we do this now. Okay. So that's the which award applies. Um, now, how do we turn this on again? So we go to here. Uh, do we have to do something in here? I'm going to change this back to Pro. And I'm going to make that Pro as well. Is that in? Have I done that? That's the main one. Yeah, that's the default one anyway. Okay, right, cool. Um, All right. I'm trying to remember how you do the the workflows. Do you just do them in there? Is that what you do? Is it in here somewhere? Agents. Uh, do the workflows again. Hey. I remember how you do this. Hang on, I'll just pause and watch it. Um, okay, these are agentic skills. Yeah, so use the agent directive. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, all right, so we called it, what did we call it? Uh, which award applies? So it's on. Okay, so um, which award applies? What if I do it with no, no information? Which award applies? What happens now? Does it ask me the questions? I don't know if it's going to ask me the questions or not. Or is it just going to expect that I've provided the answers already? Unknown error. Okay, awesome. Okay, I don't know how the variables work. Alright, let me just exit that then. Okay, um, if I do that agent which award applies, and if I paste in the job description. Grab a job description. Um, sorry, I just have to find a really reasonable job description for it. Okay, so I'll just paste it in here and see what it does. I'm not actually sure how this works still.
Okay. What's it doing? Calling the dog. Oh. That's interesting. How did it do that? Oh, so it knows to go and look in the database. I didn't know it knew how to do that. So it can call MCP. Oh, okay. Right. So oh, because it's in agent mode. Right. Okay. So if you're in agent mode and then you call a workflow, the workflow is happening in agent mode. Of course. Right. I hadn't thought about that before. Okay. That's really interesting. Okay, so right, so this this answers one of my questions, which is I wasn't sure how you get. So like, there's nothing in here that says like, how do I get the agent mode working? Like, there's no um, it, there's no like option here that says oh engage agent mode or something like that, right? So, so I wasn't really sure how. It, did that, but it looks like I'm assuming this is going to finish eventually. <laughs> um, I hope so. If I, let's, I should have a look and see if there's a something running. So, what's it doing? Get database, get complete markdown. So it's going to get the whole markdown file. Oh wow! Okay. I should go and have a look and see if it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. So. I've got MCP servers set up in N8N. So I wonder if I can just get into one of them. This one here, probably. Okay, so this is the MCP server it's interacting with, and these are the tools. They're like a super base tool. So there should be an execution just now in here. So 217, 214. Yeah, so this is. Um, Uh, what does that mean? Oh, why would it have that line there? How does that work? So, can you see the commands that it came in with? No, how do you see what it did? Right, okay, so here's the lookup it did. So, it went and fetched that. Okay. I think that must just get activated because it's attached at the same time. I probably shouldn't have an agent hanging off of the same tool, but uh, I just this is connected to a chat, and I just wanted the MCP to work as well. Um, Yeah, okay. Uh, so did it do that twice? Yeah, okay. So it called the tool, two tools, so the semantic context, and then it did the full markdown. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So what is it up to? Uh, no, that's not what I was on. Oh, this is it here. Oh, no. Okay, so it's got into like a loop. I wonder if I don't need such a... I'm going to do a simpler workflow. I was not sure how that happened. Yeah, okay, so... Flow failed, unknown error. Oh no. Okay, so it's, it's got an error, but it worked. Maybe? I mean, it's the correct answer. That's really detailed. Is it going to give citations? No. Fascinating. This is excellent. Okay. So I don't think the workflow needs to be that complicated. I wonder if you can just do like a simpler, a simpler one. So if, um, it'd be nice if there was a duplicate workflow option. So, I wonder if I can just take 
I'll have to try one without all the variables in it. I wonder if where it doesn't. I don't know where it got stuck. Did it say something in here? Uh, okay. It's oh right, yeah. So in the terminal actually is all of the stuff it did. So I guess I could probably troubleshoot it by looking at some of this. Yeah. Okay. So there's the MCP server. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Huh. I'm not sure yet what the answer is to doing this exactly right. I'm still trying to get my head around how this works. Like the documentation, it explains it, but not in a way that my kind of not very experienced mind can figure out. So. But I'm really, I'm really impressed by how... Oh, it did do the files. No, sorry. No, no, no. Wait, that was the other one. <laughs> okay, so it did a really cool answer, though. That is good. And, and this, this is just me not understanding how workflows work. So I need to figure that out because... Attempting to call flow to... Yeah, anyway, I don't know. I'll figure that out. That's a different problem. But really interesting. <laughs>